Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everybody. My name is Catherine. I am the host. I'm here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, however. We are focusing on Taurus's energy. Um, I do read for all 12 signs. Um, and twice a month, I will come on and do individual readings for each of the signs. So right now, we are doing twin flame readings for all 12, and we are on the earth signs now, starting with Taurus, okay? So if you are with a Taurus, if you are a Taurus, or you know a uh, Taurus that's in a relationship that, you know, needs some clarity, please share this message with them. Also, I do a giveaway on this channel every month, so all you have to do is be subscribed in order to win. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings, but you have to be subscribed in order to win. Now, if you want to be entered in the weekly drawing, I'm also doing a giveaway every week to three subscribers, and I'm giving away three question readings. So if you're interested in that, hashtag win or hashtag free reading in the, the comment section below. Don't put it in the chat or I won't see it. Put it in the comment section, okay? All right, and as many times as you enter your name, I will enter you in the drawing, okay? So you just heighten your chances to win the more you watch this channel. Okay, and the more you hashtag, you have to hashtag win. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ready to get started with a uh, reading for Gemini. We're going to do a twin flame reading. So I'm going to look at your energy and your person's energy. I'm going to pull some oracle cards. Okay, to channel in the energy behind you and your person. So starting with your energy, Gemini. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini. Okay. Let me light my incense, you guys. Sorry. Make sure you all are subscribed to my new channel, Tarot Talk Live. The link is in the description box below. You can also check um, me out on Rumble, which is another platform that I do tarot readings on. A lot of what's on Rumble right now is um, what you see here, but there are some things that you can't talk about on YouTube that you can talk about on Rumble. So I have that platform for anything that is a little bit over the top that they don't allow on YouTube, okay? All right, I'm just giving the cards a good cleanse first. Okay. All right, we're getting ready to get started with your reading, Taurus. I'm excited to get to the earth signs. I love the earth signs. All right. So we have your energy here, Taurus. Let's pull some more oracle for Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about 
towards please. Holy Spirit, be gentle and guide us. Tell me about the towards. Okay. Tell me about towards please. Holy Spirit, be gentle and guide us. Tell me about towards please. Holy Spirit, be gentle and guide us. Tell me about towards please. Okay. Let's pull for your person's energy now. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about towards this person. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about towards this person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about towards this person, please. Okay. about Taurus's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Okay. Tell me about Taurus's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Taurus's person, please. Okay, so let's start with your energy, Taurus, to see what we have here. So we have house, number 20, and we have number 11, sudden wealth. Twin flame energy here with this number 11 here. Um, and with house and sudden wealth. Somebody is going to be coming into um, some money. Um, it's going to come out of nowhere. Um, when this happens, it's going to be enough money for you to perhaps put money down on a house. Um, I feel like there's something regarding you buying a house or being able to buy a house. And this is going to happen all of a sudden here. We have travel, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment, and we have soulmate in the reverse. Which is a great connection or a relationship and it's in the reverse here. I feel like there's an energy of some of you are actually single, right? Currently single. I feel like you you don't you're not with anyone right now with soulmate in the reverse. I feel like there is no relationship. And with travel, I feel like there's an energy of you're going to have to um You're going to have to go somewhere else or go outside of your inner circle. It's going to take you going, you know, pretty much being an extrovert and going outside your normal circle in order to um, meet this person. Or there could be an energy where you travel a lot and you don't really have time for a relationship. I feel like there's an energy of somebody who travels a lot. Maybe you work and your job, you know, your job expectations requires you to move around a lot. So you can't really settle down. We have the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning. Definitely a wheel of fortune moment. I feel like you're getting ready to come into a lot of, uh, financial freedom here 
or some sort of financial blessing is coming. You have responsibility. I feel like you are very responsible. Um, I feel like a lot of things fall on your shoulders and you don't really get to like let your hair down a lot. There's an energy of you, you know, constantly having to be that person in charge. Okay. We have keep distance between you and them in the reverse and dwelling on the past. So there may be somebody that's going to be coming in from the past here. And I do feel like the energy of this person of you, Taurus, is that you really do want this person close to you. Let's see what's happening on your person's side here. We've got great fortune in the reverse. You guys look at this. Great fortune in the reverse. And you've got sudden wealth in the upright here. But it's in the reverse on this person's end. And you have thief. With union and friendship. And that great fortune can refer to Ten of Pentacles. When it's in the reverse, this talks about someone who is having, um, you know, a lot of fights within the family or within the home. This talks about family disputes, arguments taking place. And, and a lot of it is over money. With Thief here, there's an energy that someone may have taken something. With union and friendship here, this is someone that you have a strong, strong commitment to. Okay, so we have green light means go in the reverse. So I feel like there's an energy of somebody who's getting mixed signals here. With union and friendship here, great fortune in the reverse and thief, I really do feel like there's an energy of someone who is like, it's like somebody is playing games with the other person's emotions. You know, one minute it's like, okay, yes, we can do this. And the next minute it's like, you know, you're pushing this person away. So we have put your money where your mouth talks in the reverse. It's like an energy of not saying something or not making promises that you can't keep. I really feel like there's an energy of this Taurus likes to say things. Um, but a lot of it is kind of just kind of out the side of their head. This is somebody who promises one thing and does another. Union and friendship. I do feel like there's an energy of someone who is being very confusing here. And I feel like this person is doing this so that they can get what they want. To be honest, I feel like what you have on this side is somebody who is using um, a relationship status as like, it's like using it as bait for the other person. You have put away the computer and turn off the phone in the reverse. And you have passion. 
So someone is going to be really upset, I feel, or in their feelings because they feel like they're not getting the attention that they deserve from their person. Okay. It could be an energy where, you know, you're constantly checking your email or, you know, going online to see something about a work thing real quick, like right before bed, just like very, very, very much um, inappropriate times, I feel like, um, that this happens, but your person has a real problem with it. We have mansions and dream cars in the reverse. Mansions and dream cars in the reverse. Put your money where your mouth talks and green light means go in the reverse. There's an energy of not moving forward and not wanting to do anything, you know, different right now or go off of the out of your comfort zone too far because there's an energy of things may not go the way you plan for them to go. So just kind of take things step by step. Don't rush things with this person. Okay, so let's go ahead and look to see what the obstacle or the challenge is. We'll actually go ahead and look at the tarot first and then we'll look at the obstacle. Tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. More clarity, more guidance. What messages do you have for Gemini, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Gemini, please. Holy Spirit. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Listen, you love this person, but there's an energy of you don't trust this person. Okay. Um, you also, and I didn't recognize that we had this here, but we have keep distance between you and them in the reverse. Um, so again, I feel like there's an energy of you want to be around this person. You really care about this person, but you don't trust them, Taurus. You don't trust them. The Queen of Cups is a very loving energy, but it's also very highly intuitive. So is the Queen of Swords. And under the deck, you have the High Priestess with the Ace of Cups. I feel like there is an energy of not wanting to uh, um, with dwelling in the past. I feel like dwelling on the past. I feel like there's an energy of, um, you know, kind of being stuck in your mind about starting over with this person or giving this person another chance. But I feel like that's all it is. I feel like, you know, you're just kind of stuck in your head about it. But you're not ready to take any action right now. Because you're afraid. You're scared. You are scared too. With the Eight of Cups, I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles under the deck with the Ace of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles here. Someone is bossing up here. Somebody is getting fired up. Um, there's also an energy of someone who is being uh, also being very compassionate as well. Yeah, that Queen of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles, this is definitely an energy of someone who is being very compassionate, wanting to work 
um, with this person or wanting to work with their person. Just get along. And we have mansions and dream cars in the reverse. Um, passion and put your money where your mouth is in the reverse and put away the computer and turn off the phone in the reverse. Definitely seeing an energy. Green light means go in the reverse. This someone who is wanting to focus on their finances or wanting to focus on their money right now. Eight of Pentacles again with the Ace of Wands, somebody who is really focusing on saving their money, doing, you know, learning a trade, something that's going to better themselves. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. And we have the Knight of Cups. It's like an energy of you, you know, it's almost like a passive aggressive energy but it's like you really want to um you care about this person you love this person but there's an energy of just kind of knowing better okay so i feel like you're really going back and forth with yourself on you know whether or not you want to love on this person or whether or not you just want to smack the shit out of them you know what i'm saying under the tech queen of pentacles see what i'm saying like you're just trying to be as compassionate as possible. Um, yeah, with the hermit, you are contemplating on giving this person your energy, your time and energy again. Tell me about the high priestess, please, and the ace of cups. Well, we have the three of swords and the knight of wands. This is an energy of somebody who, you know, they want to do what they want to do. They're not really caring about the other person's feelings. Um, there's an energy of separation, um, isolation here. Just a bully, to be honest. It's like we're dealing with a bully here. Under the deck. deck, you have the Nine of Cups, who is just never satisfied or not satisfied with what they have. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, please, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, and we have the Two of Wands. So it's like you know you want to do something for yourself. You know you want to better yourself. But right now you're kind of going back and forth. You don't really know what road to take. And... Um, yeah, you're just kind of going back and forth with this. Tell me about this page of pentacles, please. With the queen of pentacles. The sun, temperance, and the death card. Wow, you have three major arcana here. Three major arcana. And like I said, I told you there's an energy of just letting go just walking away or you know getting past a situation i feel like that's what's taking place here with the queen of pentacles and the three of pentacles this is an energy of just wanting to get along just wanting to be agreeable don't want to fight don't want to disagree don't want to rock the boat right underneath the deck here you have the judgment card this is someone who is waking up to the fact that it's easier just to allow things to happen naturally and to let bygones be bygones. You would be a happier person. 
So let's go ahead and look at the challenge you and your person are going to be facing. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Gemini, please. And the challenge for Gemini and Gemini's person. Okay, so I've got justice in the reverse and the ace of swords. And this is dishonesty. And with that ace of swords, this is an energy of somebody coming in, communicating a truth here. But when it's in the reverse, somebody has avoided having to tell the truth here. So there's somebody who who is going to have to speak up and be honest about something, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. Under the deck, we have the Ten of Swords here and the Four of Cups. So there is definitely some betrayal that's taking place with that Four of Cups energy. This is someone who is, you know, kind of grown distant from their person. I feel like as your person is trying to protect the truth or keep the truth from you, there's going to be a distance that's created between you and this person. Tell me about this justice in the reverse. What are they avoiding? The King of Cups. This is somebody who is separated, but they're in a committed relationship, but they're separated from their person right now. So somebody is not being honest about a separation. And you have the Page of Cups under the deck. So this talks about an emotional offer or someone who has some sort of a message. Um, let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups. And we have the Two of Swords. So this talks about something that is being hidden. Once again, um, there's an energy of someone who's hiding something or hiding the fact that they're, you know, committed elsewhere. Because that King of Cups does talk about someone who is in a committed relationship, or but they're separated from their person or detached or they've grown kind of cold towards their person under the deck the empress are they hiding the fact that they have i feel like there's an energy of someone is hiding the fact that there's someone who's pregnant i feel like they could be hiding um a pregnancy here cancer I do feel like there is third party energy going on. So let's go ahead and look. That's the next question. What is the third party energy or is there any third party that is affecting this connection? So we have the nine of wands and the magician. Somebody, there is an energy of somebody who is, um, being very manipulative to stay in the picture. So I don't know if there's an energy of somebody got pregnant on purpose so that they could, you know, stay in this person's life. I feel like this is what's happening here. You have the seven of cups under the deck. And this is an energy of somebody who's very, very depressed or very confused. You have the two of pentacles and the three of cups here. That's 10 cups here with the two of pentacles i feel like this person is going back and forth i feel like there's an energy of this person is going back and forth between two different people here 
Tell me about the magician, please. And the seven of wands. So this magician is doing all of this extra to try to cover something up or to try to defend something or cover something up here. Yep, eight of swords under the deck. They're trying to hide something, Cancer. This person is working overtime to try to keep you from finding out something. Um, tell me about the nine of wands. Someone is not going away. Tell me about the nine of wands. And you have the seven of cups. See, this person, I feel like they have like either there are other people. There could be more than one person here. But I feel like this person has other options or this is someone who wants to keep their options open do you know what i'm saying like they don't really want to it's like somebody who just got engaged but they're not telling the their their friends that they're engaged now so it's like an energy of not cutting off these old people but you're moving into an, a higher level of commitment here Okay, under the deck, Ace of Wands. See, I feel like with the lovers, I feel like this is someone who is used to having one night stands, is used to sleeping with whoever they want to sleep with whenever they want to do it. And now that things have changed, they're having a hard time transitioning. Okay, this person is having a hard time transitioning. Hmm. Tell me about the nine of wands, please. What are they holding on to? And we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse. This is an energy of somebody who's being stingy. Somebody who is being stingy, very insecure energy, um, somebody who wants their cake and they want to eat it, or somebody who wants to have what they want, but they, when it comes to the other person, you know, they don't want the other person to have anything. Under the deck, the emperor, very controlling energy. And this could be an energy of someone who is married or someone who is engaged to get married. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. And you have the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're at the point where, you know, you've grown tired of the lies. Okay. You're at the point where you're sick and tired of the lies. You're just overwhelmed and it's becoming too much here. Under the deck, four of pentacles. This is someone who is starting to guard their heart or pull back their energy because they realize that this relationship is not going anywhere. Tell me about the two of pentacles. And you have the ace of swords. Yeah, this person is going back and forth with the truth and with the three of cups underneath the deck here. Look, this is, it's like an energy of there's always going to be, there's always going to be too many people in this connection. You're never going to have the respect of your person to limit the connection to just you and them. It's always going to be an energy where they have to involve a third party. Um, and that's just because some people just have an ego problem. Some people are narcissists. They have ego issues. They need to have people that are worshiping them or, you know, that are putting all their attention on them. They need to feel wanted and needed by others. Maybe because this person didn't feel wanted when they were a child. They may have child issues. And you saw the Queen of Pentacles come out here. You see that here, right? with the seven of wands. I feel like there's an energy of this person is being defensive or, or there's something that happened with this person's mother or they are having some serious mommy issues. 
okay? And they're bringing that with dwelling on the past, they're bringing that into the current relationship that you have going on with them. There's an energy of this person needs to feel needed at all times. They need to have their ego stroked constantly. You constantly have to let in to someone else. They will go out and try and seek that attention from somewhere else. Okay, that's why you're seeing this Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. Tell me about the Three of Cups. And we have the Five of Pentacles. See, this person is always in an energy of feeling isolated or feeling like abandoned or rejected. You know what I'm saying? So there's like this need to constantly have more than enough or more than this person needs around them. Under the deck, you have the Eight of Cups. And, you know, unfortunately, Cancer, you're not willing to stick around and watch this because this is hurtful to you. This is hurting you emotionally. Do you know what I'm saying? So rather than allow this person whatever it is that they need, let them get it somewhere else and, and you know you can they can go find another victim cancer or a taurus you don't have to be this person's victim so let's see what energy what is it that you can't see coming towards you taurus holy spirit angels and guides so we have the six of swords and under the deck the hanged man I feel like, Taurus, you are going to have a hard time getting away or separating from this person. You are very emotionally tied into this person here. Very emotionally tied in. But with that Six of Swords, like you're ready to get away. Trust me, you're ready to run. Okay. But with that hangman, there's something that keeps you kind of stalled when it comes to this person. What is it? Tell me about the Six of Swords, please. Okay. And we have the Tower. The Tower. There is an energy of, you know, you just want to get away from this person. You don't want to try to work things out with this person. You just want to move on. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. You are no longer, this is like a, a change uh, in direction for you because you're no longer interested in even waiting on this person. You don't even want to put any more time or energy into waiting for this person to come around because you don't trust them. Seven of Swords here. This person has lied consistently. And you can't trust them. Tell me about the hangman. And we got the knight of swords in the reverse. This is a very controlling, inhumane, ruthless, nasty, lying energy. Underneath the deck, the chariot. You are ready to move away from this. You are ready to go towards your happiness, your success, Cancer. Um, I'm sorry, Taurus. I don't see you hanging around this person. I do not see you hanging around this person. With the chariot, I see you moving away very quickly. All right. So let's see. What is the advice for you, Taurus? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the advice for Taurus, please. Spirit and Johnson Pines. Tell me about the advice. So we have the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups. Well, Cancer, I do see that someone is coming in offering some commitment here. There is someone, a close soul tie connection with the Two of Cups. This is somebody who is close to you and somebody who cares a lot about you. Um, under the deck, you have the Five of Cups and the Judgment card. 
So I feel like there's an energy of somebody who's waking up to the fact that, you know, things didn't go the way that they were supposed to go. They're waking up to this fact. And I feel like this is an energy of someone who's moving towards something new. Tell me about this four of wands, please. What is this commitment? And the eight of pentacles. With the star. Somebody is coming in very hopeful that they can um, take things to the next level with you. That Eight of Pentacles talks about bossing up, okay? Um, and the star, this is a very hopeful energy. This talks about the future or someone who's having faith in something happening or taking place. Tell me about this Two of Cups, please. Tell me about the Two of Cups, please. And the Wheel of Fortune. This talks about sudden change. And under the deck, the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person may come into an energy where they're realizing that they did you wrong here. Judgment in the Five of Cups. This is somebody who is awakening up to the fact that they let you down, Cancer. And I feel like they're coming in to apologize. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Seven of Swords. Under the deck, the Four of Swords. Eleven Swords here. This person is a twin flame. I feel like this person is coming in to communicate that they're sorry. Um, they want forgiveness. They're sorry that they, you know, lied to you. They're sorry they caused drama. This person is coming in offering peace, offering um, this person is coming in offering peace, but they're coming in in a very calm way. With the Judgment card, you have the Queen of Cups. That's your energy. This is loving energy here. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the Queen of Cups, you have someone who is very loving, very nurturing, and you have someone who is also ready to settle down. So you have two people here who are very loving and compassionate, and somebody is coming in ready to settle down, Cancer. I'm sorry, Taurus. So let's see, what is the future prediction for Taurus? Tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Taurus, please. We have tested. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. And enlightenment. With enlightenment, there's no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. Um, definitely an energy of, you know, I feel like you're being enlightened to this person. Um, and, you know, you're being tested right now, Cancer. It, uh, Taurus, I'm sorry. You making this decision to let this person back in, I feel like is going to be an ultimate test for you. Tell me about Taurus, please. 27, unexpected income. And 33, concern. There's going to be a lot. Expect to have a lot of communication coming in. Um, with concern here. I feel like you're going to be tested by this person. It's going to be all of a sudden giving you a lot of attention, paying a lot of attention to you where they weren't doing that before cancer. And this may concern you when this happens, but I wouldn't be concerned at all. Tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about Taurus, please. 
Let's pay attention to some guys. So we have career in the reverse and young male. There's an energy of someone who is very immature um, or someone who is um, it's an energy of not being old enough. And I don't mean age here. Or being immature. Yeah, unexpected income and concern. There's an energy of being concerned that this person is not on your level. I feel like there's an energy of being worried that this person is not as serious as you are. They're not as mature as you are. They're not as stable as you are, Taurus. And you feel like it's going to be too much work trying to be with this person. love in the past past love this is definitely an energy of someone who's dwelling on the past here this is an ex this is a twin flame this is somebody who is coming back in to fix things with you but it's going to be up to you Taurus on your decision under the deck gifts this is going to come in as a surprise All right, we'll pull one last love oracle for you. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Taurus, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Taurus. So you got trust and playfulness. <laughs> Excuse me. I always sneeze three times. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. I do feel like there's going to be an energy of you just needing to let go of the past. Don't dwell in the past so much. When this person comes in, they are coming in wanting to change things. Okay, Taurus, it's just a matter of you being able to trust this person. Okay, and then lighten up the energy to allow change to happen. Okay, so beautiful reading for you guys. Uh, I hope it resonates with one more or all of you. If you guys would like to see an extended, please email me and I will provide a link to you for more information. Um, please shoot me an email and um, I will provide the link. The extendeds are $11 and 11 cents. I love you guys so much. Take care and I will see you there. Bye.